Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I decided to make it nighttime at Lake Hylia because of the fact that I kind of have to have it as nighttime. There's a third patch over here, of uh, which I'm going to unearth a Skulltula. So, bloop! And come on, come on, come on! Grab another one really quick. Yeah! Now give me a Skulltula, baby! Just gonna dig themselves in there. And any day now, please. Wah! There we go. And one more slash for the token. Now, around this area here, I believe it is on the side of her house. Yes. This house right here. I'll show you what's inside the house, I guess. I don't really believe there's anything that we can do here. Um, other than the fact that... I can show you the house, or at least I don't think so, because there's a diving mini game in her house. She wants you to dive as deep as you possibly can, so I'll just read the sign here. She's also a part of a different side quest later on, a trading side quest, so be sure to remember the location of this lady's house. And uh, holy but Jesus, you could use a little plastic surgery. <laughs> and uh... Hmm. What old lady from the potion shop? Oh, 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 she's referring to the one at uh, Hyrule Castle, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, let's just dive under here and as far and as deep as you possibly can. By the way, there's a skull to lot underneath that crate later on. But I can't get that just yet. And was that the mini game that I was looking to do? Was that deep enough? Uh, yeah, that that's not deep enough. <laughs> What the heck is this thing? Oh, okay, that's enough exploring for now. Um, I believe there is one more Skulltula that I can get over at somewhere. <laughs> oh god, is that who I think it is? Please don't be the thing that I think you are. You are the thing that should not be. But I'm afraid you are. Well, I guess I should speak to you at least one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, why did the camera go down there of all places? Um, the... What he's gonna do is he's gonna take you back over to a different place if you let him carry you. Yeah, he can carry you to a different place. I forgot where he carries you to, though. But just the fact that he can carry you once again somewhere else is just a testament that he can carry you to your next destination if you so desired. Well, I should say, if he is so desired, obviously he doesn't want to help me out. <laughs> oh, he's going to take me back to the castle. No, I don't want to. Uh, if you touch his talons, well, you know, his feet, whatever, <laughs> uh, he'll take you over to the castle, but I don't want that to happen in the slightest. Um... Oh, it's daytime again, and I can't have that when I'm Skulltula hunting. I can't have that at all! So, let's just make it nighttime again. <laughs> Did I just hear something go glurk a -blur? Hmm, what does this plaque say here? I might as well explore this. Ah, that's when I get arrows, okay. That's a thing later on in the game. Oh, 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 oh! This is what I was looking for. Yeah, skull claws typically only appear at night, so when you search for them, make sure it's nighttime when you go ahead and search for them. Just a friendly reminder about that. And there we go. Now, over here, you're gonna see a plot of land. See that on the map that I'm aiming for right now? This leads you to a pretty neato fishing mini game, I have to say. So, that is exactly what I'm going to do right now. Um, there's a couple of tricks to this mini game that you can do to find the largest fish the fastest you can. So you have to get, I believe it is a 9 or 10 pound fish in order to get through that area. Hello there, fishing pond. Oh, they're really biting. We better go in there. We gotta catch some fish. We gotta get ourselves some dinner. Hello, man! 20 rupees to fish? What a ripoff! Fine, fine, fine. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, I don't have a rumble feature. I'm using the Wavebird controller. It's it's a lot better to use a Wavebird when it comes to walkthroughs, because the f uh, cord isn't flailing around. I have a chair in front of me, so the cord would end up tapping the chair. Because basically I put the camera next to my mouth uh, to record my voice as clear and as close as I possibly can. So that's why I have it set up this way. I might want to use a... Wavebird, Wavebird, a normal GameCube controller, <clears throat> just so I can, um, you know, just be able to feel the rumble of an item that I'll be able to get a little bit later on called the Stone of Agony. So, yeah. Anyway, let's start getting some fish here. Hopefully, I'll be able to do so. Uh, apparently, uh, maybe I only have to beat the six pound fish. I don't know. <laughs> The largest fish typically is the one either by the bamboo shoots over towards the right side or underneath the logs. Not these bamboo shoots here. I'm talking about this log right here. See that fish over there? That blue. I hope I didn't um, just mess up there. I hope I didn't make it swim away. Oh wait, maybe it's. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to cast my line in here and see if I can get myself a lunker. Uh, basically, the uh, largest fish are the ones that don't really move all that much. Ah, that's the fish that I'm looking for. See it at the bottom of the screen, the fish closest to the bottom? Aha! Come on. You know you want it. You know you want it. Come on. Come on, you know you want it. It's delicious. Delicious fishy food. Yes, I'm trying to entice you by twitching the control stick. And I'm also doing a tutorial at the exact same time. Come on. You know you Yeah, this could take you a few tries. Once it gets too close to you, it'll go back to its log area and yeah, let's just try that again. Yeah. Um there's a thing called a sinking lure around these areas, but it will not let you get the large, I should say, it will not count for a record-breaking fish, basically. Uh, he considers it cheating. There's a sinking lure in three different places here that you can find randomly. Oh god, I got two fish going on here. Uh, 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 someone's gotta bite, someone's gotta bite. I just wanna show how this works, first of all. I may be aiming for the record-breaking catch here, but first and foremost, I gotta teach how to fish. Whoa, oh boy! And when a fish grabs on there, start uh, reeling it in there by holding the A button and pulling back on the control stick. And there you go. And it is a tiny fish. No, well, I'll keep it. What the heck? I can continuously fish for basically as long as there are fish in the pond. <laughs> but really, um, you you would have to restart if this lunker underneath the log here goes away because of the fact that it is the biggest fish in the pond so you don't really have much of a choice in that matter then did that big fish leave i really hope that big fish didn't leave oh i think that big fish left no well, let's let's keep trying here maybe i Maybe he's swimming a little bit off to the side here instead, because I always attracted him when I aimed towards that uh, part of the log sticking out of the water or part of the tree. Oh, wait, wait, I see him. He just went back to the spot. Okay. He, he was just swimming around there happily. He was just doing his own thing. All right, let's just angle ourselves again. This fishing minigame is pretty fun, I have to say. It, it's kind of slow, but at the same time, it's very relaxing, very well made. It's nothing like Big's fishing minigame. Well, I should say Big's fishing game in uh, Sonic Adventure DX or the original Sonic Adventure. Oh, God. I must find Foggy. Oh, Foggy. I must find Foggy. Oh, I should also mention when the fish goes to the right, you pull to the left and vice versa. Oh, 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 oh. we're getting close. We're getting close. Go, 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 go. And when, you, when it gets close, it's kind of hard to see where the fish is tugging from because of wherever you're standing in. Yeah! Let's see what we got here. It's 10 pounds! That's what I'm looking for, baby. Yes, I will. So, I, you can only keep one fish at a time, then you end up throwing the other one back. But that's basically what I came here for. So, let's go over to the guy and... 
let him weigh our catch, even though we already know what the heck it weighs. <laughs> So let's go over here and oh I should also mention a little thing if you swing your fishing pole at him you'll pull off his hat or toupee or whatever or something like that and he'll he'll uh, charge your rupees since I need my rupees at this point in the game I don't think I'm gonna be doing that so here is my record-breaking fish oh yeah baby what do you think of that huh oh yeah you may be the pro but the amateur has just overtaken you and gotten himself a piece of hearts how's it feel to be beaten by a kid huh 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 well yeah <laughs> I am going to quit and I'm going to go do some other side quest dealios around the world so I'll see you there. I think I'm gonna go over to Lon Lon Ranch. Oh, I should actually show you this here. See this scarecrow here? I am Bonnaroo, a scarecrow, a musical genius. I hear a song once and I never forget it, baby. So, he seems pretty useless, right? Well, whip out your ocarina here and he'll be like, whoa, you have an ocarina? Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it, baby? Okay, what you want to do here, this is actually for a super secret song later in the game that you can get. Um, you have to memorize a song that you play, so make it something that's easy. Something like, oh, you, oh, one note has to be different than the rest, and you have to play eight notes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> seven A's and a down. So he's gonna remember that song, and he never remember. I mean, he never forgets the song. So just do not change your song, and you'll see what I mean later. Just do it. Make it whatever you feel like that you're gonna be able to remember, and just keep it that way. You'll see later. And Pierre here, oh, he's a wandering scarecrow. Hmm. He's looking for soul-moving sounds. What could that possibly mean? I actually know, but you're gonna have to see later on in the game. Anyway, to Lon Lon Ranch, to 100% that area, baby. Oh yeah. Well, as long as I see this thingy out in the field here, I might as well show you how pea hats work, finally. So here we are. Oh, 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 see, they got these leaf blade things here. Uh, yeah, it's a Pokemon reference. And what you want to do is slash at that thing underneath them. These things are a lot more intimidating than they are threatening, actually. I mean, they do one heart of damage, but look at this. I'm just standing underneath them and I'm not taking any damage whatsoever. Uh, they drop a crap load of stuff when they die out, so they're pretty worth uh, fighting if you, like, need something or something like that. So I just thought I would show you that for the fun of it, because you will very likely encounter a pea hat somewhere along the line in the world of Hyrule. Um, because I'll definitely be exploring Hyrule Field later on in the game. Uh, there's a bunch of hidden secrets into the ground that you're going to want to check out later on. Anyway, we are now at Wei Wei Lan Lan Ranch. What I actually want to do here is... Oh, I, I got my Ocarina alt here. I'm going to turn this to nighttime with the magic of the sun song because I'm going to be getting the two remaining Skulltulas that I couldn't have gotten here earlier with my handy dandy boomerang. This thing was holding me back the entire game collecting Skulltulas and it's time that I go through and collect them all once again. Well, not collect them all, I should say go back to the areas that I've already visited and, you know, 100% them. 100% <clears throat> them. Dang it! Curse these allergies and mucus. How dare you! Now, around the outer perimeter is a Skulltula. Somewhere around here. I didn't bother showing this when I was back here earlier in the walkthrough because of the fact that there's, like, no point in showing you. Ah, 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 I see it twitching. You can't get past my beautiful vision, actually. I have I have contacts. <laughs> it's only beautiful because of my eye doctor. And get yourself a token. And let's see the Skulltula count. What should you be at if you've been following? 29! 29? Why? Well, anyway, I'm going to go back over to... Um, Death Mountain's very, very tippy-top crater, 
next to get the sculpt claw that I forgot to get with the bugs inside that dirt patch. I'll see you there, and then I'll take a return trip back to Kakeriko to get some prizes at the Skultula house. Oh my god, I went all the way up to the top of Death Mountain for nothing! I could have swore there was something. I, could, I mean, I thought there was a dirt patch up there. But, oh, it took so long and, oh, well, there is a dirt patch inside Death Mountain Crater. But anyway, I decided to go back to Dodongo's Cavern here and get the Skulltulas in there. Just because of the fact that, you know, I'm in the area, so I thought, why not? So, yeah, this was the room that had the loads of Song of Time blocks. I don't know exactly where the poop the um oops the skulltula is in this room i'm just kind of going by ear here because i have to clear the blocks around this room until i find the thing and yeah oh hello there you are not what i was looking for but i will kill you anyway so this will take quite a while because of all these dang little cutscenes. <sighs> Why so many cutscenes? Well, it's not so much a cutscene as it is a I'm playing a song to move blocks, but those but the song acts as it is like you know a block. Is it on a wall or something? I I don't know. <laughs> I'll eventually get it, I assure you. <laughs> I assume if you're coming through this room as well, it's going to be just as tedious, unfortunately. And oh, no, 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 no. Am I seriously stuck in an infinite loop because of the fact that I can't get out of here? Can I, like, guard? Oh, my God. I am going to have to walk back here, aren't I? Fine, save and quit. Ah, yes, here is the culprit that got me in an infinite loop. That was not good game design, I have to say. Not in the slightest. You shouldn't be able to get yourself stuck in a situation like that, you know, that you would have to restart the entire game. So, I do not approve of that. Ah, there it is. It's in the back left corner of this room. So, let's grab our skull tool up and get the other two that we missed in this dungeon. Quickly. Alright, back in this room where the Lizophos were. I'm going to blast this boulder. And I believe there is a skull tool up behind it. Wah! That was probably not a good idea. <laughs> Let's just throw it at the last second. Because I think the bomb will be... Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. <laughs> I think the bomb will be a little too low if I throw it down there. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I'm going to have to time this. Wah! There we go. And let's grab the Skulltula. And then there's one more back at that pole room. So let's go and do that right away. Okay, remember this room over here? Now I should be able to get the skull to love from it. So, aha, there you are in the corner. And let's just get our boomerang. Can I, like, hmm, let's get a little closer. There we go, that'll be a lot more helpful by Z targeting onto it. And there you go. Now, this is what I wanted to show you earlier is that when you get all the Skulltulas in a dungeon, you'll see that symbol appear next to the name of the dungeon. See that Skulltula symbol? That in <clears throat> indicates that uh, you did your job, you cleared out the dungeon, so let's get out of here and get our prizes at Kakeriko. All right, so we're back in Kakeriko and the Skulltula house, so let's see what other prizes we got from the kids here. There is the first saved kid there. That one's not saved yet. What do you have for me? Oh, it's been broken, you're welcome, an idiot. <laughs>
It is a giant wallet. Now I can carry 500 rupees. That's the largest wallet you can get in the game. And the last prize is, if I'm not mistaken, the Stone of Agony, which rumbles whenever you're next to a spot in the ground that uh, you can blow up with a bomb. I'll show you how that works later. But anyway, I've done enough for this part. This part is taking me about 38 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this part, and I will see you in the next part when we do more side quests.